Welcome back, everyone. I am Opiate from Control Alt GG, and today we're taking a first look at Tetragon from Cafundo Estudio Creativo. They're a Brazilian group that has worked on various projects from holographic interfaces to virtual and augmented reality. Tetragon began its life cycle as a mobile game. It was nominated for Best Mobile Game at International Mobile Game Awards, as well as nominated Best Mobile Game, Best Art Style, and Best Game Design at Game Connection Europe, all in 2019. As with every alpha, beta, and demo, I'm coming into this game knowing very little aside from what a Tetragon actually is. That's, that's not true. I don't know what a Tetragon is. I had to look it up. Now, after losing your son to the magic forest, your goal appears to be one noble endeavor. Get your son back. Not much is really revealed about the entity that took him, nor how he was taken, but a magic icon shows up and speaks in grumbles, pointing the way inward. Solve puzzles, and your son gets released. On the surface, it seems like a standard puzzle game. The beginning starts slow, lets you know that there are collectibles, how far you can fall before you die. It's followed by the introduction of the ability to rotate your surroundings. I think it would be interesting to see if they could incorporate a way to move more than 90 degrees at a time, but in the demo, that's the limit. The next game mechanic is what looks to be a lantern that allows you to alter certain parts of the level. They're called towers. Now these towers have differing lengths and they never really seem to reach as far as you need them to. But knowing that the entire screen can rotate, it's best to plan for the gravity shift as you rotate to find the exit door. In the demo, you find a ghost or projection of your son and the entity that is helping you. He seems really frustrated that you aren't solving puzzles, but instead are worried, legitimately I might add, about your son. There's also a puzzle on top of a puzzle when the towers that are part of a key needed to open a very large door are introduced. The demo shows that there are a bunch of levels to be completed, but most of them are locked for the trial. Now I'm not really sure how the devs will be able to keep upping the difficulty, but call me intrigued. The art style combined with the gentle background music makes me want to spend some more time in this world, turning the screens, collecting the things, ultimately finding the man's son. I also wouldn't mind knowing a little bit more about the entity, what its plans are. Hopefully we'll find out when it releases sometime 2021. For all things game release related, drop by our website, controlalt.gg. All the links for all the stuff are in the description. And as always, I'm Opiate. Thanks for stopping by.